Volunteering for me means a way of saying thank you to the communities, the people, and the educational institutions who contributed in so many ways in making me who I am. There are so many people that I came across in my life journey as a professional and as an individual. And there is no way I can pay the supports and the contributions these people made to me. For me, the only way I can give a signal that I actually appreciate what they did is to give my talent, my skills, and my time as a volunteer. In 2012, we volunteered and planted trees. We grew them. These trees are there today for you to see if you go to our community. I gained admission into American University of Beirut in 2017 and in 2018 I enrolled as a volunteer among other volunteers. We taught about 25 Syrian immigrants how to speak English. In one of my volunteering journeys I happened to be among some other volunteers where we were supposed to make a presentation. I was made to do the introduction. Um, along the line, I got stuck. I could not do the introduction. I was shaking, I was shivering, and I was sweating. Under an air condition, that was almost zero degrees Celsius. So one of the participants asked me, Patrick, why are you sweating? Because the room is cold enough for you to not be sweating. But I didn't know what was happening. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know I was sweating. So. Nobody knew what was the problem. I myself didn't know what was the problem. But later on, I realized that, of course, the room was cold. But there was some kind of fire within me, a fire of fear, a fire of lack of confidence, a fire that was burning, asking me to step away from in front of the people. I mean, that is a lack of public speaking skills. That was a skill that I lack. I was skilled that I didn't have and I needed to work on it. Not just that, but in the process, when I was struggling to proceed, my supervisor jumped in and explained that that was all volunteering was about. Actually, in my struggle, according to him, some of my colleagues were supposed to help me out. Now, what I learned from that was that when, when it comes to volunteering, we have to support each other. There are communities that cannot proceed from where they are. There are some people who cannot proceed from where they are. We need to come to their aid. And he used a story, a story about equity. Equity as in, for example, some people watching football from outside the football park. Let's say we have tall guys among them and some of them being short. The shorter ones will need something to stand on to be able to see what is going on in the field. And in his explanation, that was my situation. I needed something to stand on. In that case, I needed someone to come to my aid, to take over up from me and do the presentation while I watch, while I gain my confidence. And I learned that once I needed help, there are some people who also need help and I will have to help them. Volunteering is very important for all scholars because every scholar has been talking about touching lives. Almost every scholar wants to make a difference. Every scholar wants to be a type of person that will leave a legacy. Now I think that one of the ways, if not the most important way of touching almost every life is through volunteering. You don't need to be employed. You can simply help. You can simply jump in and lend a hand of help. You can simply help anywhere. So volunteering is a way that scholars can use to touch the lives that they want to touch, to make the difference that they want to make. That's one. Number two, most scholars are those that do not have experience. 
And so to get experience, I mean work experience for that matter, you can start volunteering. By the time you finish volunteering, you would have gotten the experience that the employers need, and it will help you in your future work journey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa,